This is a copy of a Maxwell Parish. I also did this on corrugated cardboard. So again, I like the texture of the cardboard that shows through the Ripley texture. Of course, um, I made it on another world because you have the moon there, which is a banana and then a, a planet. So who knows what planet this woman's on when she's looking up at the sky. This is a painting of my grandparents. I changed the hair from the picture because I didn't like the hair on it. And I'm not sure I care for the way the hair turned out on this, but uh, I like the colors a lot. I like the sort of heart between them. Yeah, I like this one a lot, especially the colors. I think the colors are lovely. Um, I like this a lot, although I have to get back in here because the shirt, the shadows, I'm not happy with. So I guess I would call this one still a work in progress. Here's a painting I did of Marilyn Monroe. Uh, this one has more three-dimensionality. It was done later, you know, a couple of years later, so I knew a little bit more what I was doing. I brought this uh, with me to London where I had... Uh, participated in an exhibition called Showcase London and of course nobody really bought anything from the artists that were there. Um, what I did, I've got an hourglass and it looks like a man is, instead of sand, it's more like excrement. He's shitting on her head and it says JFK up there somewhere. <laughs> and um, these pills are um, like valiums or something. At least that's what they're supposed to represent. And I made this in, uh, oh goodness, uh, September 3, 2002 is when I finished it. So that's my painting of Maryland. Here's uh, a copy of Van Gogh, which I gave it my own uh, touch, which I, I like this painting a lot. I especially like the background. And here's another of the uh, simple shape paintings that I like. I love the simplicity of this, the bright colors, and it sort of possibly tells a story that people can decide for themselves what that story is if they choose. I did another Van Gogh copy. Uh, I forget what painting this is called, like the cafe or something like that, but again, I made it my own. It's loosely based and I like my color scheme a lot. Again, I, it's bright, but it's not, I don't think, garish. It's still pleasing to the eye. And again, I do sell my paintings and they're very cheap. Did this picture, which I like a whole lot, I thought it came out pretty well, and I did this one entirely uh, by eye. I didn't sketch it out at all. And surprisingly, it went faster than when I sketched something out, so that was interesting. I also have this um, painting, which is um, in the pointless style, sort of, and it's basically just clouds. I had taken a lot of pictures of clouds and I wanted to do a whole series of just clouds but I never got around to it. And also of flags as well. And I, I like the texture of the painting. It, it looks nice. And then I did this one of Prince Charles which this I did take to London for um, the uh, the exhibition that I did there, Showcase London. And I, I like really like the background. I think the colors are very pretty in the background. And I also did one of Queen Elizabeth. And then I did another one of um, Camilla Parker Bowles and Princess Diana. And um, <laughs> um, they uh, got a very interesting reaction, needless. And if you, uh, so this gives you an idea of what those were. Those were even more risque than this one. And here's another one which I like. It's a Playboy bunny. It's another one of my earlier uh, paintings. But 
and it came out fairly uh, decently. I've forgotten which artist this is a uh, copy of. I want to say Angra, but I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody knows, by all means, please um, mention it in the comments. But that's who I think this is. I, wanna, I wanted to put like a hand just reaching around that curtain there, but I never did. But that was a thought I had. And I still might eventually do it just to make it a little bit more my own. Here's another example of one of my early works and abstractions that again doesn't have the, the shading so it's a you know flat and two-dimensional but again I decided to leave it that way uh, to show again as I previously said how my early work was. Here's another painting I did which I like a lot. It's sort of dark in here so I don't know if you can see it very well. But, um, I just enjoy that, especially like how the car turned out and the people that are in the car, you can see them in the motel sign. Here's a comic book painting that I did in the pointless style of the Fantastic Four with the, the Submariner. I did uh, maybe about a half a dozen or so comic book paintings, most of which I sold. I did one of uh, Knight Rider and uh, one of Spider-Man and um, one of the, um, the Thing. Was it The Thing? Or no, The Hulk. I think I can't remember. Oh, The Hulk. Maybe punching out The Thing? I can't remember now. Um, but I like this one a lot. Uh, again, I like the colors. Here's another one which um, was sort of well, the apartment I lived in at the time. Um, those were the paintings that I had hanging on the wall in the position where they were in the apartment and that's representative of the furniture that was in the apartment at the time. And the view from the window is a uh, pretty uh, uh, similar to the view I had from that window. And again, I like the colors a lot. Of course, the ceiling, I made that up. But the rest of it's mm, pretty similar to what it was. This is my Queen Elizabeth painting. I have to be careful because I don't want it to be an age-restricted video, so I can give you an idea what it looks like. But can't uh, show too much, but you get an idea of what it looks like. I like the background a lot. I like her twinkly, smiley face and her purple hair. Her fingernails. And I also like, oh, let's see, this uh, part here, this bottom portion, which is, I think, really... Uh, pretty down here. That's Queen Elizabeth for you. I also made a painting of Camilla Parker Bowles and Princess Diana, but I want to be careful in showing it because I don't want to show too much because I don't want it blocked or age restricted. So, I want to make sure that you get an idea of what it looks like, but not show too much. I, uh, oh, this was the uh, painting I was going to bring to London for the, um, the uh, showcase, London, but instead I painted it added it into this painting. I love the background again. The colors, I think, are so pretty. And there you get an idea of Princess Diana and Camilla Parker Bowles painting.